Hello and welcome to the statistics video of Hurdle. Um, as you might see, I have a face now. Wow. Yeah, I thought since there's not too much to look at in this video, I thought I'd just turn on a face cam. Do a little face review, I guess. I You might have seen it in the reflections of my piano anyway. Um, but yeah, I've spent quite a lot of time on uh, the last few days collecting or at least putting all the different data from Hurdle into this Excel sheet over here. Um, so we can do a little bit of analyzing. I haven't really used Excel before. Um, I don't have that kind of job, but with some quite some programming experience and a bit of database experience, I could get through it pretty easily. To start off, um, here I have a little sheet that uh, links all the scores here to the amount of seconds that it takes. So a score of 1 is the best, 7 is the worst. 7 is actually just not getting the guess at all. Um, but I thought maybe for consistency's sake I just put 22 seconds since it does say plus 6 seconds now instead of um, just skip. Um, here you can see for each of the scores what the average views view amount is, which is pretty interesting. That we can see that um, getting the song within seconds, seven seconds, um, is the best performing. Who knew? Doesn't really matter much since I mean a lot of this is biased because some of the amount of times that I've gotten the score is really low, so having a small sample size really. Um, doesn't really work that great with that. Now down here I put in all the different days and all the different scores that I got, episode number, season number um, and the amount of views as well as the year that the song was put out. Um, now I do have to confess for one day here on April the 18th um, I lied, I cheated um, in the sense that I did get a copyright strike and I just didn't upload a video because it was only the second episode of the of the of the season. I mean, it would have been the third. And I thought that's that's too fast. And I only got the song based upon the lyric that I heard in the song. I've never heard of the song, so I made I made the decision to just not upload. Um, and nobody knew except for me. And I lived with the guilt. There was there was much of it, but. I live with it. I'll probably also release this Excel sheet to the public, so if you want to have a look, you can take a look. Um, all the X's here just means that I filled an episode. Here you also have a color gradient for if how good the score was as well. Um, and the information over here is just um, information I need for some graphs. Here you can also see that throughout the hurdle videos, like I got. I got this score before the Hurdle video started and then this is the scores that I got during the Hurdle videos from the period that I started until it ended. Um, so I got 61 second guesses, um, 6 2 second, 10 4 second, 9 7 second, 5 11 second, 5 16 seconds, I think I'm still correct. Uh, and there's 36 that I didn't get. Now of course um, a lot of those. 36s are of course from the end um, where I got quite a few in a row. Um, luckily I got a bunch of graphs. Oh wow look at that. Um, and I got all of the most interesting things in my opinion plotted down. Now for the first graph here I plotted all of the release dates of the songs against the scores that I got. Now it seems quite random at first. Oh there's my cursor. Um, but you can see a little bit of grouping here around the 90s and the 2000s. And that's uh, because I filled quite a lot of songs there. You know, I always complained about the 90s and the early 2000s. Uh, and here's my proof. Uh, you can see that there's a definite bump in the trend line. Um, as well as that it's significantly lower over here. Um, so yeah, there's your proof. I'm not crazy, okay? I I'm not going crazy, I swear. I swear, man, I swear. Anyway, um, here you can see for each of the seasons how many, ti how many times I got each score. Um, now, season three was by far the longest with, um, I think, almost two, 32 episodes. Um, I mean, even more if you count all the half episodes. So you can see that for uh, the season three, I got the most. 
Um, so to account for the bias of how long the season was, I also did it percentage wise. Now the numbers here are missing, but this is each of the seasons, season one, season two, etc. Uh, you can see that throughout the seasons, I got quite a lot of one second guesses. Um, here not so much, but season one is very short. Um, as well as season three was the most diverse because it was of course the longest uh, as well as that i filled quite a lot on more than 50 percent in the last season um, and spotify is sort of to blame for that in my opinion now if we look over here um, i plotted all the types of guesses over time so you can see how the one second guesses grow over here. I got a really long streak over here in the middle. So the one second grows quite quickly over there. Um, as well as that you can see in the end that the seven second guesses also rose quite quickly in the end. Um, so this is cumulative. Um, I also dip one percentage wise, which I think is a very cool graph. You can see it like slanting because it's like a, an inverse function, one over X, but then each time it gets shifted over a bit. Um, because I got one added to it um, and you can see in the end I got a little less than 50% uh, that were actually one second guesses um, and a little under 30% that were uh, non-successful guesses. I also plotted the length of the streaks over time. Um, here you can see I started out with a very short one um, then I got a little bump 7 and then 10 which are quite long um, then I got a little lower here um, and then I got a 16 one, which was uh, by far my longest. Um, and then you can see it slowly dwindling down over time. Um, to account for that, I also graphed the amount of like misses I got in a row, which at the start were usually just one time or two times in a row at max. Um, but in the end, you can also see that it was three and seven seven fills in a row which was uh, a very long fraction almost ran out of space in the thumbnail there um another interesting one was the views that i got over time um there was one episode which was season two episode one which has got a lot of views it get, i think it's sitting at 4.3k views now i mean for actual general youtube things it's not that much but for a small channel like me with 70 subscribers that's pretty good um after that uh, you can see some holes in here because um it doesn't account for the ones that i didn't actually upload um there's little holes uh, and then it's usually stabilized around uh, probably like a hundred um and a bit then also i got a little graph for the amount of views i got um determined by the year that the song was released see if there was any correlation there maybe there was maybe there wasn't um there wasn't that much um that i saw i mean you can see a little higher amount of views over here but i think that's just because there were a lot of songs in that era so that doesn't really count now what i found interesting during making this data analysis is that the end of hurdle or at least the end where i ended hurdle wasn't actually the only bad part uh, guess wise of hurdle there was also a very or a small amount of time in season three that i actually did quite terribly it doesn't really show up here because season three is so long but if we go over here you can see that i lost a lot of episodes here now they weren't uploaded so the general population you guys didn't know um but i lost a lot of episodes um they were quite close together but they never really got above a streak of two in a row so you don't really notice um but yeah i thought that was quite interesting now that was it for this data analysis uh i will be uploading or leaving this thing in the description do with it what you will i don't think there's too much to do with it um it is quite janky um once again, I've never used Excel before and I'm just improvising over here. Um, but yeah, I have been playing Hurdle for the last couple of days and funnily enough, I do have a four day streak going right now. So that was quite unexpected. But um, on the other hand, I do enjoy playing Hurdle in the convenience of my own. Well, without the pressure of a YouTube audience in the background 
even though I, it doesn't really matter that much after doing so many episodes. Um, I will probably be willing to do, I don't know, maybe some unedited hurdle episodes. Uh, maybe not at 12 o'clock or something, but maybe unlisted or something. Nah, I'll unlisted. I'll think about it. You know, if if you have some requests about it, I'll f f feel free to ask. I'm always looking at my comments. I'm a bit of a maniac like that. Um, so if you have any suggestions, comments, anything else that I can do music related or or anything like that, I I'm open to suggestions. I I still love music and everything about it. Um, and I still do know a lot of songs. So if you have any other fun games that I can play with it go ahead i don't have any um so enlighten me anyway that was it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you another time bye bye